This time the quick speed shop, check it out, bam! We got this mint looking truck, but guess what? It was Z-barred when it was new, and it completely destroyed it underneath. So let's take a look and see what we got to fix on it. I'm a professional, don't try this at home. Alright, so what we got here is a 2007 Chevy Colorado. The thing looks mint on top. It's got like 90,000 miles on it, and I've been fluid filming it the last couple of years. But unfortunately, the thing was Z-barted from the factory, which Z-bart is like a heavy, heavy rubber under rubberized undercoating that they spray on everything. And it seals up all the seams, and it won't let uh, water or dirt or salt drain out of the sheet metal. It just traps it in there, and then they spray over it year after year, and it makes it a thousand times worse. This truck, it sealed up the frame on the driver's side. It wouldn't let the drain holes work right. And now there's five holes in the frame on the driver's side that we got to fix. So if you're familiar with the South Main Auto Channel, you can go watch any uh, what Eric down there says about Z-Bar. He won't even work on cars because it just coats everything. It traps all the salt. It, he's had Chevy trucks with huge holes in the frame. It's just the stuff's terrible. It's garbage. Don't ever, ever put Z-Bar on one of your cars because it'll just eat it alive. Like get fluid film or crown or some other type of uh, liquid rust prevention. The rubberized Z-Bart is terrible and I've seen, I've fluid filmed multiple vehicles that were Z-Barted first and that every single one of them has rust really bad at all the seams on the frame. So let's get onto the truck, we'll take a look. All right, so look at this here, this frame. Here's the rear front of the uh, spring hanger on the driver's side. Look, there's a huge hole here, hole here, there's several holes here. This frame was completely loaded with water and scale and garbage when I fluid filmed it and we spent like an hour and a half cleaning the inside of the frame out, but the Z-Bar rubberized undercoating completely sealed up all the drain holes in the frame and just caused the thing to hold water and like destroyed it. So let me take a peek underneath and I'll show you what I'm talking about with some other spots. So this is slimy because it's got fluid film on it now, but you see how all along these seams and all the seams on the cross members and the seams on the frame, all those welded seams on there that are all rusted, that is because a Z-Bart seals all those seams up from the inside and doesn't allow any salt or anything to get out. And it just rots the thing terrible from the inside out. It gets all over the connectors. I mean, you can see it on the gas tank skid plate. But it's completely destroyed the frame on this truck where the rest of the truck is mint condition. So what we got to do here, this is a, this is preservation, it's not restoration. We're going to make some plates, we're going to we're going to cut some of the rust out of this frame rail and then make some plates and plate up over the spring shackle and stuff and just kind of reinforce this thing where the, uh, the worst of the damage is. And then we're going to spray some fluid film inside the frame, we're going to spray some fluid film on top of the patches. This is, uh, this is horrendous that stuff that's supposed to save a vehicle actually destroys it. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, clean all this off with a uh, putty knife, get all this grunge and Z-Bart off here. We'll get down the bare metal, we'll grind it all up and cut some pieces out and go ahead and hopefully uh, weld her back together. Here you can see the Z-Bart on the uh, spring hanger. Now on flat metal here where there's no seams, you know, it does protect it. Look, there's there's, you can still got the factory black paint on here, but the problem is seams, it seals up the seams, and then when stuff gets behind the seams, it rots it. That, that's the problem. Like, if you just Z-Bart a big flat panel, it would work it would work great, but when it seals everything up, all these seams, that, that's what the problem is. I mean, this frame, when we cleaned it out uh, a couple weeks ago, had probably five pounds of rust and garbage built up in here, so much that it was almost up to this hole up here because it couldn't drain the water on it just collected it made it rust so I've got to take this and scrape see this is rusty here it seems I've got to scrape all this off I mean you see the black paint there but every seam the rust starts in the seams and just works backwards so you don't have it doesn't help you if the flat surface is, is not rusty the seams right away you're done That's great. That's terrible. Okay, 
Okay, I got it all uh, cleaned off here, or uh, knocked out here. Got a whole big tub of rust that came out of the frame. So I think the plan of attack is I'm gonna saw this overlap off the uh, spring hanger and then saw it up around here to this point of the bed mount and then down into here. Cut all this out of the frame and then replate this out of eighth inch, make a new outside frame rail out of eighth inch plate I have and then weld this back to it. And then uh, after that's done, cut out this bottom section and repair the frame back here. And then I'm gonna fish plate off the spring hanger down over in this area. And I'll probably drill a drain hole into the frame here just so stuff can get out a big one, probably like a three quarter inch hole or so down in the center to help water get out. You can see one of the seams or one of the drains here that's supposed to drain and it's rusted right up. But I wanna have a drain hole back here. Oh, we're in a world of hurt. We're in a world of hurt now. Look at this. Oh my goodness gracious. I got it cleaned up with the grinder pretty good here. I'm gonna go ahead and take some fluid film, just give it a tss in there to coat the inside of this back frame rail for you. Before we weld her up here, just to get a good coating up in there. This will be, this will help something better than nothing. Get in there. So at least I'll coat the inside of that up a little bit. We'll hit it when we're all done with the uh, the air one, but I wanted to get some up inside there while we got it exposed. Okay, so here we go. We got the first bet, uh, plate made here. It's gonna overlap weld, tie into the spring hanger here. And then I'm gonna gust it down off the box mount onto the spring hanger again, but this will be nice and uh, beefy. I'm just gonna get it tacked in place first and then uh, work it around with some clamps and stuff and get it tacked up and then piece in this bottom section second and piece over here third. But I think, I think this is gonna work out good. Oh. Ow, hot, hot. It was hot. Ooh, that's nice. It's coming in nice. You can see here I got it welded up nice around the front edge and stuff. There's a little hole here, but I'm going to plate over all this after I weld this up. I'm just going to work my way up around and uh, kind of form it to the frame rail and tie this uh, mount in good. But this is going to be a really nice repair and it's going to work out good on here. So that can't, I'm really happy the way this came out. I got a super nice weld all the way around here. Um, it's only nasty right up here because um, it was a bunch of garbage in there, but this is gonna get a plate over it to tie this uh, bed support down and just overlap this. So I'm just gonna grind this clean and plate over that. That'll be fine. Um, a, little, a little nasty looking here, but the rest of it melded in real nice, burned in good. So that's super strong now. I'm just gonna make a piece to cover up this. Uh, weld up this back section and I think I'm going to do a little gusset probably off the spring hanger just back into here just to give it a little extra strength and a kick up and then just a piece of flat stock to overlap the bottom of the frame and redrill this frame hole down here that should be good but this this is going to lock this thing right up nice and uh, fix it up way more better than it was before okay so I made a, uh, a panel here for the bottom that's going to simply overlap here I can get my hand out of the way and fill all that in and make this bottom patch up. I'm going to have to kind of hammer form it as I go, but it should it fits pretty good. So I'm going to 
tack her up and then hammer form it around. But it'll, it'll weld up nice. I'll seal that up and then we'll just make that front plate will be uh, in the home stretch here. All right, bam, here we go. Look at this, it's done. It came out pretty good. I made a gusset plate up onto the cab mount here. The gusset down over and ties into the spring hanger. I actually added another gusset back here to kind of get back into the back of the frame. And uh, we got it plated all the way up around here. Plated back here on the bottom. Actually cut that out and made a new bottom. I added a gusset to the front of the shackle that goes down here over the old drain hole. I've added a new drain hole up here. I'm just going to hit it with some flat black while it's still hot. That'll like sear it right on there. Then we're going to use a new product. We're going to use a fluid film, but it's going to be in black in a rattle can and, and hit this with that once it once I the paint flashes off for a couple minutes. So I'm just going to some black flat black on here and then we'll uh, bust out the fluid film. All right, the paint's dry. I'm going to try something brand new ready from my favorite company, Fluid Film. Check it out. They got fluid film now. It's in black. I've got some uh, gallons and I got this aerosol can. So let's go ahead and we'll bust this guy open and uh, coat this up and see what it see what she looks like. Whew. All right, here we go. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. That's awesome. This thing's going to be good to go. Perfect. Now, it's liquidy right now, but it'll tack up. It'll pick up some dust on the way home, and uh, it'll keep it nice and black. Now I'm all excited. I want to do the whole truck. Look at this. Black it out. That's awesome. Oh, I'm not going to waste my whole, uh, these are expensive, they're 10 bucks a can, but I've got it in gallons, so maybe next time I'll spray this chassis with the black and uh, black her back out and get rid of this nasty rust look, but that is awesome, this is uh, preserved, this will be good to go, this is uh, way more than uh, good enough for what's going on here, we got the patches all, the frame all patch, we got it gusseted, we got extra action down here, extra gussets up here, extra uh, gusset up over the uh, box mount to tie in here so this is all eighth inch plate it's actually thicker than the frame was originally so bam this thing's fixed and uh, let's set it down and get it out the door or right, bam there we go got the uh, old Colorado here fixed up that frames fixed up good as new it's uh, not restoration it's preservation that's why I wasn't really concerned about the look of it but it came out pretty nice I liked it, how it came out and then I used my new product my fluid film black it stuff's awesome check it out also got it in gallons. I'm going to do an unboxing in comparison to with well, the wool wax black here coming up pretty soon. But we got the new fluid film in black ready to rock and roll. So that was awesome. So here we go. You can get it in gallons right there. Fluid film in a gallon black right there. Bam. It's like 47 48 bucks, And then uh, these are like $10, $11 in the, in the aerosol can. So that worked out good. You know, Colorado's ready to, ready to ship down the road. And... Uh, be good for another winter. I've been fluid filming this thing for the last couple of years, so hopefully the Z-Bar has completely destroyed it and the fluid film can save it. But uh, yeah, had to do what I had to do, but she's rock solid again and ready for this winter. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. I'm putting out new videos every Wednesday and Saturday. Hit the bell for alerts, tell your friends, and we'll see you right back here at the Quick Speed Shop fixing up rusty junk that Z-Bart wrecked.